If you want to rotate your canvas, then go to preferences and press on free canvas rotation. Make sure that's on. So for example, if I go to one of my projects, I can just rotate it. So make sure that's on. And also there's a thing called strokes. So for example, if I choose on while drawing, so if I go back to my project and just do a line, like the line is straight, but not too straight. So if you want it to be like very straight, then choose the after drawing. So just press on after drawing. And when you like draw a line, you can see it gets super straight, like it gets straight after it. So you can choose either one of it, while drawing or after drawing. So some of you guys be like, how do you get the orange touches? So just make sure you have show touches on and you would have the orange touches on. So if I press the plus sign, you can choose a format for your drawing. I usually choose the uh, original canvas. So if you press this right here next to the shapes, like if I'm trying to draw something and I mess up, you can just press on that and like it will delete it or undo it. Or you can just swipe to the left or right and undo it or swipe to the right and redo it. So you know, it's up to you. All the shapes, you can use the shapes, the circle, just press and hold on it and it will add a color and all this. And the layers, you can make it disappear. So some of you guys be like, how do you get the time lapse feature? So just press next to the layers and it should be an option that says time lapse. So like once you start drawing, it would automatically record. So that's how you get the time lapse. So now let's go to the brushes. So if you hold on the brushes, the name brushes would pop up. For example, if I get the basic taper brush, which is the second brush, you know, my color is black or blue and my opacity is 100 and all that. So like, for example, if I go to the settings and just make sure you have everything on. Don't turn nothing off. So like if I draw an S soft and like draw an S hard, the soft is tiny and the hard is big. So if you turn off pressure dynamics, then when you press soft and press hard, they're the same size. So I recommend having that off. Only some phones have it. So if you don't have it, don't worry. So like if I just draw a circle and just press and hold a buck, it might show up. If that shows up, it's because it's not fully connected. So make sure it's fully connected with no gaps and you can just press and hold and add a color. So if you get the eraser and like try to erase this, like you could erase it like either by little by little like this. You can erase it by little by little. Or you can just press and hold on it and it will delete everything, like erase everything. Now to enter pictures, just press the plus sign and press image layer and just press on my iPhone. And then just go to camera roll and just choose a picture from your gallery or whatever camera roll I should say. Just choose a picture. So if I like zoom in like the picture and just press done, and like if I just like start to outline, you can see that the outline is like very tiny. So like you can't really see that like the line is very tiny. So like if you press the picture and press transform and zoom like out or in, then you can see like the line is like more thicker. So like I recommend like zooming out if you want your like your brush to be like not too tiny and not too thick. So I'm going to start doing the eye. So like I'm going to do the eyelash. Then to add a color, you just press and hold. Just make sure it's fully connected. So just keep outlining the eye. So like instead of outlining the eye like this, you can also press on the shapes and get the circle and like, you know, just outline it like this. So like the circle can be like straight. And just like outline it. So I just add the pupil. And then like for the eyelashes, my brush size is either one point or 1.5. You can choose any brush size for the eyelashes. And, you know, for the eyelashes, I just flick upwards, you know, it's kind of hard, but you, you would get the hang of it. 
If you're having any trouble, just comment down below and I'll be glad to help you guys. And also, comment a lot of tutorials down below that I should drop like a lot of tutorials. So, if you press on the picture and press duplicate, you would have two eyes now. So, you put the second one and press transform. You can like change it to the other eye. Because, of course, we have two eyes since I pressed duplicate. So, like, if I just like transform it, just change it over here and press horizontal to change like this position, like the side of it. You know, you can just like fix it. So, now you have two eyes. Like instead of just like like doing the other eye, instead of doing this, like this would actually save you some time. So okay, now we're going to do like shading. I'm gonna give you a tip or a trick like on shading. It's more like a tip. So like if I just pick up a color from the skin, so like just pick up a color from the skin. Just hold on color and like a ring should appear. And with that ring, just pick up a color from the skin. So like if I just make like a circle, so I just pick up the skin color, just make a circle, and just press and hold and add a color. So like if I go to color, like right here, if you press this right here and press on shades, you would have all the shades, like dark shades and light shades. So if you like shoot this shade right here, you can like just shade like right here. So like when I shade, I shade kind of like a gradient shade like you know how I do the eyebrows when I do the eyebrows it was like light in the front and dark at the end that's how I shade I feel like it looks better and like more cleaner but you don't have to do it and like to shade just lower your opacity to like 10 through 20 but like I shade like light in the front and dark at the ends And then like I just add like light shades like in the center of the picture. So if you choose this light shade right here, you can like choose that color to add light shades like this. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to turn that bell on so when I post, you can be first like and first comment. So thank you guys for watching. I know this video wasn't the best, but I really hope that you liked it. And I will upload another video tomorrow. So see you guys tomorrow. And I love you guys so much and have a great day. I'm gonna